Hey guys, Flats here, and this is my guide to setting up your EverQuest client to have the most classic experience possible. So I'm here on the Quinos docks, and things are looking pretty good. We're not quite classic just yet, so I'm going to open up my options menu here and take a look at what we can do. Alright, let's see here. This, uh, this targeting ring is definitely not classic, so I'm just going to go ahead and click that one off. Um, level of detail, that, uh, I don't know what that does, but that doesn't sound classic, so I'm going to turn that off too. I see over here on the right, that the sky type is set to complex. Well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Such advanced skybox is definitely not classic. Why don't we take a look at the advanced options here and see what else we have. Alright, here we go. Shadows and advanced lighting. That's definitely not classic, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click those off too. Um... What else have we got? Oh, look at this. Uh, use new water in old zones. We don't want any of this fancy looking new 3D water. We want plain old 2D water. Oh yeah, there we go. That's looking much better, but we're still not quite there yet. Uh, why don't we head over to the city gates and see what else we can do. All right, so I've just realized that this, uh, this UI is not classic, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fix that now. Way too many nice visual indicators for my taste. I like to have the more streamlined, simplistic approach. There we go, that's much better. But you know, I'm still not just feeling quite classic enough yet. Something's missing. I know, I think these textures are a bit too detailed for my classic tastes. Um, why don't we bump them down a peg or two? Perfect. I love it when I can barely define the road from the grass, you know? You know what though, if we're knocking back textures, we gotta knock back the models too. What is this model? Look at it, it's, it's probably like, what, 2000 tries? That's disgusting, man. Let's cut it back down to about 700. Look at that, there we go. Now we are getting somewhere. I'm still... I'm still not quite feeling it though, guys. Something here is still not classic. You know, back in 99, we didn't have computers that ran games at 60 frames per second, you know. Let's see if we can do something about that. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Max frames per second, set at 60. Why don't we go ahead and drop that down to... Oh, let's say 20. There we go, perfect. Whoa, look at that, dudes! That's amazing! It's like I'm playing a game from 17 years ago! I think we can take it further though. I mean, we didn't run games at 60 FPS back then. We, we most definitely did not have these widescreen resolutions. That shit is not classic. Let's go ahead and fix that. Let's see, uh... 8x6. I think that sounds about fitting, don't you? My goodness. I'm just at a loss for words. It's so majestic. But you know, there's one final finishing touch that I need to add. You might remember playing this game on a CRT monitor with a human character at night time. These gamma levels are not classic, and that needs to be addressed. Such a masterpiece. This makes me feel like I'm 12 years old again. Such a time of innocence. Now, hopefully, with the help of this guide, you should be well on your way to FTEing, setting up bat phones, farming pixels. I really hope this helped all of you young raiders out there. And just remember, always stay classic.